Welcome to The Car Guys, and this week we are giving you our recommendations for the best cars you can buy for £50,000. Now, 50 grand sounds like a lot, right? And it is, but you would be surprised how few new performance cars you can actually buy for that money. Honestly, 50 grand don't get you much these days. Now, I should stress that I have no idea what 10 cars Damien has chosen. And I know even less about the 10 monstrosities that Jason has come up with. What is certain though, is that you, our beloved Car Guys viewers, are about to witness a selection of a very personal, very strange car purchasing recommendations. And hopefully you're gonna be entertained with the banter which is about to be unleashed. Gentlemen, Start your engines. These are the best cars you can buy for less than £50,000. You've been asking for this one for some time and actually, as a special treat, we've decided to not only do the best cars for 50 grand, but we've also stretched our recommendations to the limit with budgets of 25,000 and then 10,000, which will be separate episodes coming soon. So please join us for those. This week though, we've picked the best new and used cars for less than 50,000 pounds. And we would be lying if we said this was an easy task. It is not. Mainly because in terms of new cars, you don't actually get a lot for your 50K these days. Even hot hatches are touching that figure, let alone luxury saloons or sports cars. Sports cars. So we've set ourselves some rules, namely 10 cars each, maximum. We need proof of cars, so we've got to actually find one to back up our claim. Cars have to be fun, interesting, and ones we would actually want to own. And sadly, you've got to have at least one practical car in there and no EVs. Sorry, not sorry. Now, we've scoured the classifiers to bring you our deeply personal, eclectic, not electric, choices. <laughs> Who knows, maybe some of these cars will be snapped up by you guys. But don't get your hopes up that there are gonna be any Ferraris in this list, because there won't be. Although, theoretically, you could get a ratty old 348 Mondial or 400 for 50K. I'm not seriously gonna recommend buying those to you fine folks. So here we go then, the first on my list of best cars I'm gonna recommend for less than 50,000 pounds is this, the Aston Martin V8 Vantage. This is the 4.7 one. It's quite low mileage, the one that I've exactly chosen. It's in onyx black, so it looks very quite nice, good in that. Very nice, very nice. The reason why I've chosen this is because You like is, driving tractors? It is. <laughs> Ouch, Jesus. <laughs> what? Gee, it's only the I... first one. <laughs> sorry. You don't sorry. go for the gut punch first one. Yeah, I do, because I know what my first one is. It's very pretty. Yeah. I've had one. Yeah. It's a lovely car, loads of badge prestige, a little bit schlonky inside, but when you look at it, it's basically a mini James Bond. I just think they're fantastic cars, and the noise that you get out of this engine is extraordinary. All Aston Martins are stunning looking things, maybe not the DBX, but Pretty much all Aston Martins are stunning looking things. Yeah, and it's the right size as well. It's quite muscular, yeah. so you need big old arms to use yeah. that stubby little gear Nice stick. long travel throttle pedal as yeah. well to yeah. give you lots and lots of you know sideways action if you're that way inclined. If I was going to sum up this car in one word, it would be meaty. Nice. Mm. All right, my turn. Go. And, and we should stress that I have literally no idea what is about to unfold. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, folks. <laughs> right, so despite Damien saying there'll be no Ferraris in this list, number one choice, <gasps> yes, it's a Ferrari. Yeah, you see, I said I wouldn't <laughs> recommend it. Now, I, oh it, my God. I have got a real thing for these at the moment. It's a Ferrari 400i, V12. Wedginess. Wedginess, Grand Tourer with pop-up headlights. Yeah. And do you know when I fell in love with these? Le Mans Classic last year, when there was about 12 of them all lined up. Yeah, there was, and yeah. every time I went to the next one on, I fell more and more in love with them. <laughs> so this car is 32 and a half thousand pounds. Wow. Right? So not even anywhere near. Not budget. even anywhere near 50 grand. 32 and a half thousand pounds. So Look it's dark it. blue. It's wow. absolutely bloody oh, gorgeous. Red leather. And it's got red leather interior. Well, you know, viewers of this channel will know how much I like 
dark blue with red leather Ferraris. Yeah. See, I'm not a big fan of the red leather. I feel like it's looking inside someone's insides. Yeah, but that particularly but that, looks like a prolapse. It does, it does. But what a car. I mean, I've not driven one yet. I'm due to on hashtag drive every Ferrari. Links. <laughs> and actually, this does hold, hold water because you would actually buy that. Oh yeah, 100%. I found a blue one with blue carpet and tan interior mm. that was exquisite. I just need a manual. Two strong ones. My, my second <sighs> one, uh, I've gone a little bit all sensible pants now. So I've gone for something fairly uh, obvious, uh, but also with a twist. And it is this. The Porsche 911 996 Turbo. What, what, for under 50 grand? Yep, absolutely. How? Under 50 grand from Paragon Porsche. This is a great car. It's only done 35,000 miles. Wow. It's in Arctic silver, which is a good nice. color for the 996 Turbo. You don't mind the 996 platform when it's the Turbo. I think these are real underappreciated classics. Well, hell yeah, it's under 50 grand for a Porsche. Yeah. Black interior, nice and classy, silver, absolutely perfect minted car, that one. Lovely. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I'm, I'm with you on that. You could drive, add another 100,000 miles to that, oh, trouble-free yeah. motoring. Well, maybe if the engine's been sorted, doesn't they have problems with, you know, the thing. But anyway, yes, you could. Yeah, good, I like that. That's cheap as well. I couldn't not have a 911 in there. You will find that my list features quite heavily on the classic car side. That will not come as a surprise to anybody. So here we have... Good Lord, is that a Triumph TR3? It is a Triumph TR3. Wow, I mean, now, yeah, that is full on classics. I didn't think we were going here at all. <laughs> yeah, this is proper... This must be a lot cheaper than 50 grand. 38,950. Okay. This is uh, an ex-press car. So this was built by Triumph, given Ooh. to the press, two years as a press car. So it's been ragged. So it's been absolutely caned. What I was quite interested in this, it is eligible for the millimeter. You're joking. I'm not What joking. year is that? This is a 1955 wow. you can, TR3. You, you can take that on the millimetre, you can't. You can. The way to get on it is to have something unusual with a bit of history, exactly. and this car is unusual and it's got history. Would it make it around the millimetre? Yeah, this has been completely restored about five years ago. You said interesting, I'm giving you interesting. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Okay, there we go, number three. Wow, number three for me, and this is a bit off the wall. The Lexus LC. 500. Now, a lot of people on the channel have said, could could we review one of these, okay? Right. And I'm like, well, yeah, sure, if we had a relationship with like Toyota and Lexus, and if we in any way courted car manufacturers to get cars to drive, or perhaps if one of you has got one. But yeah, I'm quite interested. Look at that. It is a Lexus Coupe, but it's the most modern one, and it is, I think it looks astounding. That is beautiful. I'd forgotten that they existed. And yeah. that's just reminded Everyone me. Everyone has. They were really expensive as well. They were over a hundred grand. I mean, they did seem to be a lot, but now of course, they've come down a bit because no bugger has bought one. Yeah, that would do it. So yeah. this is a two plus two. It's a proper thing. It's done 62,000 miles, so a little bit more, but we're talking about a 3.5 litre V6, nearly 360 brake horsepower, but just look at the body. I know. It's so Stunning. svelte and tight. spacious. Tight, tight. Yeah. It's very LFA. Yeah, kind of. exactly. It's look. like a mini LFA. I love that. I love your work. Have you been watching too many Carry On films? Uh, oh, honestly. So this is an Austin Healey. It's yes. not the 3000, it's not the big boy because they are way over 50 grand now. I, bet, I yeah. mean, they are knocking on nearly 100 in some cases. This is 106. So they started off when they brought them out as 104, which is a four cylinder. Then they went to the six cylinder, okay. which is only a 2.6 litre engine, not the three litre. It's a gorgeous looking thing. Do you remember when we sat in that little square having a couple of beers oh, and that lady... The square we can't talk about. The square we can't talk about because it's secret. And yeah. there was a gentleman there, a French gentleman, mm. who had one of these mm. and it was two-tone green. Yeah. It was a sage green and yeah. a dark olive green. I might even have a picture. If I've got a picture, I'll put it up. Put there. it up. And he had this lovely moustache yes. as well, didn't he? And the he, ladies loved and the, him. Like, he was living his life. Yeah. So that's my kind of inspiration for this. It's just so quintessentially British. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. You've got to have a pipe and drive, string back driving gloves. Of course. Some yeah. kind of cap or goggles. That car is £49,995, but wow. it, it has been gone through. It's a 1958. Uh, my next one mm. is actually a 2018 BMW M5. This one is in Marina Bay Blue Metallic. It's done uh, just under 30,000 miles. It's the 4.4 litre V8. V8. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you know I like the big smokers. Yeah. And there's an awful lot of big smokers in 
all three of the lists <laughs> that we're going to be doing. Uh, and this is just the first. Yeah, I'm, I'm not such a big fan of the white interior because I do like a blue pair of jeans and I like my seats to stay the same. <laughs> Yeah, as do I. You just <laughs> have to carry some wet wipes with you all the time. All the time. Just give it a, it. Big tip there, all. wet wipes, folks, for yeah. uh, seats. The V8 isn't quite as ruinous on fuel as the, the 10. 10. Yeah, exactly. Because exactly. that, yeah, that's horrendously bad. Yeah. It, it is, in fact, 50,000 50, 50, pounds. 50, pounds on on the nose. It's bang on the money. That, that is a lot of car for 50 grand. So oh this, my goodness, there's another one. Yeah, so this is a 1957 MGA restored by Ocelli. I mean, what a beautiful colour. What a lovely colour. So it's a very dark, very light blue Hang with, on a, a, minute. with you a just creamy said, interior. Oh, oh, I like the blue, but I couldn't deal with the cream interior because yeah. of the jeans. And now I know, you've bought one but, up. But look at it though. I mean, and it's got like a half torno as well and the luggage rack on the back. A new five-speed gearbox in it to make it a little bit nicer to drive. It's got a mm. two litre oh. engine, oh. but you're, what you're getting is oh, the wow. external beautifulness wow. and something that's a bit nicer on the road. Which is in the spirit of like Eagle E-types and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that kind and, of thing. It's kind of, re I would call it a resto mod. It's nice. of me is bemoaning the fact that the original has been, has been let's the, face it, raped. <laughs> um, but the other half says, well, at least you could use it. At least Come you on. can get in it, turn it on, and you know mm. it's going to work. Yeah, Forty-five thousand seven hundred and fifty oh, pounds. It's a lot. I'm of, not sure I pay that. I'm not money. sure. I think yeah. I'm going to file that under barmy old cack. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you must have one of these, surely. This is the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Mm. So we love this car. We you do can love this get car. a twenty-six thousand miler in silver from the Wimbledon Carriage Company within our budget. I mean, this is a bit of us, we love it. That is a crazy amount of money for one of these cars. But interestingly, still seem to be holding their money very, very well. Quite correct. I was expecting to find all the quadrifolios at 30. <laughs> at least 30. If only. Because we always said, oh, we definitely have one of these, but we're not going to pay 65,000 quid for them. No. We're going to pay a little bit less. It's a handsome car. Um, I can't believe you haven't got one of those in your list. Well, I have got one of those in my list. Okay. Here's the one that I have. Oh, is that ceramics? So this is black Ooh. with ceramic yellow calipers. Oh. Right. Sexual chocolate. But we are always going to agree on quadrifolios. That is fantastic. Figlio, fo, quadrif folio. Don't quadri start that again. We're, we're, still, we're still getting letters. <laughs> for God's sake. They don't always find it funny agree. when you mispronounce they it. They don't? They don't. Oh. They just don't see it. Awkward. No sense of humour, some people. They keep saying, why does Skeletor say things wrong? <laughs> <laughs> it does look good. Looks good in black. Obviously, you'd be cleaning it every five seconds. Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, so next one for me, and I think I've done particularly well here, ladies mm. and gentlemen, because I have gone for a incredible orange BMW 1M. Oh, you dirty, dirty boy. Look. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Look how vivid it is. Yeah, that, I'm all over that. Yeah, this is, this is we've reviewed it, so go back in the back catalogue, have a look at it, but this is a big favourite of ours. And I love this car. It's just getting better. As the years go by and the new M cars get fatter and all Ugly, over yeah. the place and crappier. This is just that pure, beautiful beast. Very tiny, very wow. agile. I completely forgot about him. Did you? Completely <sighs> forgot about them. See, I saw this, it jumped out at me. Yeah. It's like, ah! Gotta thought, have that in my list. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely spot on. And how much is this amazing piece of orange loveliness? 49.999. So not 50, actually. Not 50. Yeah. Actually, that's not bad money, I think, for those, is it? That's higher than when we were looking at them. They it were 40, 43. yeah. So they've gone up a little so bit. So they're, they're appreciating. But fabulous. Mm. Oh, amazing. Yeah, spot the on. And we would heartily recommend one of these to any one of you every day of the week. I'm going to counter your BMW M1 with a BMW Ooh. M2 Competizione. You're joking. It's not I'm called not. a Competizione. It's not. It's just competition. Uh, you can have this car from Romans. Can you? You cheeky Roman devils. It's black with gold wheels. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. This is gorgeous. That's cheap as well, 42. 42,000 pounds. How many miles has it done? 11,000 miles. Admittedly, a lot of the miles it has done is between drug deals, presumably. Well, clearly, if it's black with gold wheels, yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. But I reckon that is, that is good money. That is a proper, decent mm, bit of kit. That is good. Okay, my seventh choice is one that's going to make some, it's going to make your winky fizz, quite frankly, <laughs> because it is Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 
Tommy Mackinnon edition. <sighs> I managed to find one of these at Woods of Wirral. Right. Hey, hey, Woods. Hey, hey. And uh, it is in unusually blue. I think that looks very lovely in blue. So do I. Non-striped version as well. So do I. It's in blue. It's got sort of red inserts. Honestly, the pictures of this thing, it is immaculate everywhere. They've got all pictures underneath. And how, how much is it going to cost me to get my bottom in that? I mean, I think it would probably be 50,000. <laughs> region of 50,000. This one's done 56,000 miles. <laughs> It's a, it's a Japanese car. It'll go on for another thousand hundred miles, won't it? Yeah. Almost a suspiciously cheap price. Yeah. But we're still talking about 50 grand. It is still 50 grand. 50 grand is a lot of money for a car that was 25 when it was new. Yeah. It just goes to show, if you put your mind to it, what you can find out there. Yeah. And also, though, worryingly, is that you can do this any day <laughs> of the week. So I implore you folks, if it's possible... Yeah. Uh, don't. Don't just go on any of these sites and just browse for things with certain parameters like no. price or engine size or no. gearbox. Because unfortunately, the, but the problem is, is it will suggest ones to you and you will have to then buy them. And that, that is bad. Yeah. I mean, look at my garage. You can see the trouble that you can get in. Oh my goodness. Right. So this is a 1953 Sunbeam Alpine Mark 1. Right. And, and this, this is my... This is my touring car. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> oh, but look how gorgeous it is. This... It's not gorgeous. It's not gorgeous, is it? Look at this from this angle. Look how gorgeous that is. That is a classic what? touring two-seater. Look at it. I know, but when did I miss your 80th birthday? I've got, I just love these old classics. Yeah, I'm... You, you're not in? You've lost me. I'm out. I'm you're so out. out. It's unbelievable. I'm out, out. Right. How much is that? It's 48, 48, You're not going to buy that. 48,000. We told the ladies and gentlemen that you, these are I cars love that. We would Do you not buy. like that? I love that. Look at it. It's not like you've got a Look. huge garage full of, like, you know, rusty old box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is an Audi RS6, which of course I had one of these, so I know exactly mm. how amazing they are. They are amazing. And I knew that we'd be able to find them in the budget because let's face it, there's gazillions of them. Yeah. They're all brilliant. Just a phenomenal thing. Oh, yes. You see? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it is essentially the car that I sold. Yes, it is. So it's a little bit, little bit sort of rude, but uh, I just think, look at it. They're all quite expensive to maintain. <laughs> yeah, uh, the four and a half thousand pounds to do the set of brakes. Yeah, yeah, the dealers are horrendous. Yes. But as a product, a, a car that you can do anything with, loads of room, loads of tech, loads of ability, four-wheel drive, incredibly fast. I'll let you into a little secret as well. Go on. Uh, turns out that a friend of the car guys is right. in fact the international DJ Chicane oh. and uh, he loves an RS6. Does so, he? so I'm dedicating this choice to you. Oh, about nice. That? Good work. So all of my really old cars have gone. Good. But this one is still quite old. It's a BMW Alpina. <gasps> oh. E21 B6, oh. 2.8 oh. litre, with the stickers. Oh. Now, the only downside is it's left-hand drive. Who cares? That but, makes it more exotic. But this... Do they even do right-hand drive I, 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 I don't sure know. They did. I'm not even sure they did. But it, oh, look, look at the Alpina stickers yes. on it. I mean, it's from our friend's four-star classic, so... That's lovely. I mean, it is gorgeous. Oh. It is gorgeous. And you can own this car for a little over £49,995. <laughs> <laughs> stunner. That's a stunner, right? Yep. Absolute stunner. I've brought it back, ladies and gentlemen. I've brought yep. it back. Right, my penultimate choice, frankly, oh. I can't even understand how it's even uh, a thing? possible to have in this budget price range. So perhaps there's something I don't know about that. But it Cat, is a, Cat D? It, may, well, it doesn't say that, but it is a Subaru Impreza P1. <gasps> Right. What, for 50 grand? For 50 Shut your face. Grand. Now, it's done 57,000 miles. It's a year 2000 car. It's obviously one of 1,000 made, and it appears to be... A banana available, shaped. ...available in our price range. You would not believe the amount of cars I came across and went, that's amazing, look at it, and it said Cat D or Cat S or Cat C. <laughs> or... Well, I'm shocked that you can get one of those for 50 grand. I'd be paying 50 grand for that. Every day of the week. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised it's not parked outside, if I'm honest, yeah. because I think that's an absolute bargain. Yeah. It's not Still a bargain, because it's 50,000 50, pounds, pounds yeah. for an Impreza. Hashtag cost of living crisis. But considering the values of these things and how everyone loves them so much, and this particular one being a P1 as well, mm -hmm. that I think is a, 
is, is a fair price. Now, my last two choices are brand new cars, because we did say- Well done. When we talked about this, we said used, classic, and yep. new. Yep. So the first one, and I've had one of these from new. Ah, okay. Is a Mini Cooper John Cooper Works. Yes. Right? Good idea. Just under 50 grand in stock. This it's one's in blue. It's you really can bring it just under 50 grand. Just, little, yeah, I mean, wow. it's, well, no, actually, it's not. There you go. 37,220 pounds. Okay. So 38 grand, probably. That's a good shout. And many, many people who watch the car guys do have these cars. They are brilliant fun. Yep. They're very nice to drive. That is, that's a very good shout and a piece of unusual and unexpected actual consumer advice from I you. I know, amazing, isn't it? Shocking. Right, come on then. Let's have your last one. Okay, my last one is uh, what we like to term a bit bonkers. <laughs> so I figured... I've oh, got... it's another Sunbeam Alpine? <laughs> I've got some... I've got some practical cars in my list. I've got all sorts of ones, so I thought I'll go for what I would class as being pretty much a genuine supercar, but, oh. not, but not one that you'd expect. And yeah, it yeah. is a Noble M12 wow. GTO. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Classy. Wow. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. You can get this car, three-liter engine, 27,000 miles, a 2003 car, twin turbo Ford Duratec V6, and you can get 0-60 in 3.7 seconds out of these things. And actually they handle really well. Yeah, really good. And you can get one of these for less than 50,000 quid. It was originally built in an industrial unit in the UK, <laughs> but... Which is never really something you would say is a good thing about. Lee Noble knows a thing about handling and yeah. high speed. And this is, a, this is a very rare thing to see on the roads. Uh, because yeah. it's the Ford Duratec, easy to service, easy to look after, and as a track day weapon, yeah. Would I be mean, outstanding. You'd be really happy with this. But there you go, so that's my 10. I'm loving it. Okay, so last one. This, again, is another new car. £46,905. Gets you a... Gets you a BMW M135i. Ah. Really? Right, because one of us actually decided that we were going to do new cars. Not going to set your hair on fire, but a fairly decent bit of kit, mm -hmm. rear wheel drive, nice car, bit of space in it, opposite to the Mini Cooper, completely different configuration. This particular one's in a very vile green, but yeah. I'm sure you can get them in, horrendous. In, in, a, in a decent colour. But there yeah. you go. That's a fairly decent new car. I mean, I, I applaud the fact you actually put new cars in there because I basically just threw that idea out. You I did, just, instantly. That I just, don't, you? I just you don't think we like new cars on this channel, really. <laughs> we don't really no. like new cars. So there you go, folks. These are our best cars for 50,000 quid. I think you'll agree. We've done some really proper good consumer advice. There's people out there with money burning a hole in their pocket. Yep. And we have given them some really interesting ideas to avoid and never go anywhere near. I feel very confident, in fact, ladies and gentlemen, that many people will go out and buy the cars that I have recommended. Ended. Yeah. Jason's oh. not so much. Well, thank you very much for watching the best cars for £50,000. Frankly, that was exhausting. <laughs> I need to go and have a beer and scour some more classifiers because clearly I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe, tap that notification bell for when we have another film uploaded. Find us on wherever, basically. Instagram and YouTube. Yeah, find us on Instagram and YouTube and don't forget to buy that merch. And there'll be another episode of The Car Guys next week.